Okay, let's go to church. Your tarps need to be back out of the driveway. Sunshiny day. No camp trails. We all room for a special treat too. We're gonna go pick up Nita's mama, Betty Faye. I'm not gonna say anything to her about the camera running. It's kind of hard to hear what she says when she talks because she talks real low and she kind of mumbles. But if she's complaining and griping about anything on the way to church, y'all are in for a special, extra special treat, as Andy Griffith used to say, extra special. Stop again, we Lost a tire. Like as the crow flies, she lives just like right behind my house. Right around the corner here to get to her place. Up her driveway here. That house, the first house you see there, where all those cars are, Barbara and her husband built that house. That's where they used to live before they moved to uh, Colorado and so moved out there and then the little house there with the dog that's Henry's house they built that for uh, Doug Barbara's husband for, her, for his mother and this is Betty Faye's house here and I won't be talking like I'm talking on the camera if she gets in the car because I want y'all to get the full effect I want you to enjoy the, the a 100% of the Betty Faye experience.
You what? See that stupid dog. <laughs> so I got to smell all the smell of him. Would you leave the keys in there? Barbara coming over here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. She's cooking her. lunch. Yeah, she's cooking lunch. I did. Oh, she said yesterday she didn't know if she was going to or not. So. Well, she didn't know. I know she where I'll be eating lunch at today, then. Yeah. I don't know where she's cooking, but I told her not to go no big deal. What's she cooking? What do you mean told her not to make them? You told her, you said told her to cook a big old fancy giant meal. <laughs> well, she was, uh, I know, because she had, she had sent Nita a text, text, and Nita had, she hadn't heard from her, so, last night, well, Nita sent her a message back, but she was to send it on the computer, almost a bit more. Angie'd come and know what was going on. I mean, if it was going to her, and I said, Well, I why would Angie call? Because they, uh, she called because Barbara had invited her to her To lunch over here today? Yeah. Oh, okay. Boy, she was working off. Angie asked me if Kim did it. Just when we're trying to get all this, they could, you know, they had this 
old deer put in and because uh, they snaked in here and got it and because they're supposed to have a council meeting with the people clay and funny you know what they done they had the meeting the night before because they didn't want them down there and then it's gone well you know so they did snaked in here what they had to give it back part of it back on this side, clay side. And Barbara said, well, you know, there was a, uh, clay was getting all, I said, yeah, but they weren't sneaky about it. No, they thought they You waited, coming. what, 15, 20 years before you went back? <laughs> I think that's close to keeping your word. smoke no more I'd burn that off and I got a knife you wanna cut it off?
<laughs> yeah, it sure is. Birthday, he'll be four years old. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be seven. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when these kids that I remember being born get start getting bigger and ugly and older. I know it makes me. Feel older than you do, but you are older than I am. Yeah, I thought that's a big camp, so my mom. I'm going to be 80. She said, Come on, can't believe you're going to be 80. I was old. I was about bald. I said, I was 68. He died. He would be 83. You ain't going to be 80. It's birthday, are you? Yeah, I'll be 80. I thought she was going, I thought she was 78. No, I'm 79. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> See you eat bowling, I thought you would. <laughs> I thought you was going to be 79 this year for some reason. so much they'd be they'd be tickled if I brought in a whole army of people. <laughs> well they got a new house now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they just moved. Yeah they sure her pictures she said the she said the girls love some new house. Oh yeah. And how did Tim Are you friends with them on Facebook? Uh, they with are Andy? Uh, they put stuff on my page. So. Andy and them, you see stuff from okay. I don't yeah. know if you're friends with them I thought you was. Yeah, I seen that the other day. Uh, Albert, why was he on? Oh, he was up there doing something. I was working, was, doing something. He's been painting. Yeah, they said they needed you. Uh, it was it? One of them girls said, you need to come back. Uh, somebody said, I can't remember who it was. said, Kent, you need to go back. So they need, Kim, Tim needs some help. Yeah. <laughs> I bet so. Well, you might as well have stayed over and helped them move. Well, because yeah. it wouldn't cost you no more. I'm such an important person here. I had to get back because yeah, you know right. so many people are depending on me. And yeah, and nobody's going. My nobody. phone went rang one since I've been home. That's how popular I am. Yeah, mine just rings when somebody needs me or something. I mean, or, or either somebody's wrong number. And these. Blooming people, private called or something like that. But I don't answer nothing. And I don't answer it unless I, unless it's a number I know or something. The other day I answered the phone and I don't know what I did that for. And it was somebody, uh, I can't do it. Oh, yeah. So, 
my car. I said, I can't get to the mailbox. So I thought, hey, everybody can go to the mailbox. They can to the mailbox. I thought, I thought they were going to go in. And I said, I need to the cancer right up anyway, or have a diabetes or something. And I'll support them. I'll support the diabetes. I'll send stuff that you may help. I'll send them a lot of money because they do a good job. But a lot of these places, you know.